Kwani let mother yake alikuwa ni kama mother wetu wa genge RIP so tuki record from morning to 5 pm the same studio ilikuwa sitting room ilikuwa inageuzo inakuwa ni tuition room sasa unaona watu wa yangu walikuwa wanakuja kusoma saa after sit kutoka studio so one of our artists alikuwa anashinda akiwaangalia na wachekesha chekesha yeah. so tunashinda tukimwenjoy yeye acha na mwanda 18 yeah. So somehow to ki joke na eh tukafikiria ni idea naweza fanya hiyo song mm -hmm. then nikaandika actually ni yale ni record like producer ali kama akapata song imesha recordiwa mm -hmm. aka like after a few weeks na ambio hii song ndo itarelease your next mm -hmm. you were like surprise ah yeah. nice <laughs> karibu sana shukran <laughs> shukran mahali makala yako wapi yeah. mafans wako wamekuwa nakuulizia kidogo hawakuoni <laughs> na ngoma yeah. kama hizi zilikuwa kali sana watu wakazipenda yeah. wakaamua kuwa mafans wako wakubwa lakini kidogo kawaacha kwa mataa ndio maana tulikutafuta <laughs> ah, okay. tuambie uko wapi basi wanakutazama najua yeah. uko wapi sasa <laughs> <laughs> Niko KTN kama vile mnaona. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, um ile issue nilikuwa nayo sana sana through lifestyle ya music and ku pata like pay fast cuz tulikuwa na perform weekends. Song ili rise haraka just when I was fresh from high school. So through yo kuwa na free time cuz the only time una work ni like weekends. So weekdays you obligated to in the studio but unaona kama uko inspired kama una hit utaenda. So nikaanza kukunywa pombe ile kujivinjari kiasi. Pesa ilikuwa nyingi. Ada some sense. Sense. Yeah, and you're you young like I want responsibilities mingi. It's different than Masai cuz that time I was still at my mom's place, you know. So like una have fun and everything which lift a point. Unaanza kama titolling like kama kujivinjari and to have fun. But somehow it came to a system where I was addicted. So mostly, I battled my addiction. No, I didn't keep away. But finally, I thank God. I was four years, seven months sober. Now two days. Yeah, it's been a long journey. Two days. <laughs> yeah, like I was going to rehab, sana. So I was going to do these like twelve steps. Uh, recovering alcoholic and everything for my age ni kwa mbaya cuz most people to go now rehab ni watu like wamepitia life zaidi and everything which mu angalia kulingana na life ya mtu pengine god anakupitisha face fulani ndo kuwe a face ya kuonyesha watu wengine so through experiences zangu nilikam na nikakam na foundation which moment i youth and now ambia story yangu tu ya alcohol and now ambia like kunywa pombe but pombe isikukunywe na kama hujaingilia pombe achana naye ni overrated ulikuwa unakunywa pombe peke yake ama kuna wale ambao wanasema pia ulikuwa unatumia ni hadarati ah mimi hata jina mimi hadarati nili have kutafuta kwa kamusi kwa kujua ni nini yeah do hata kwa base kwa base huwezi enda waambie mtu nataka mimi hadarati mbili hapana yangu ilikuwa strictly alcohol yeah like ninge mess na fegi hivi like akakupa na mimi hadarati kwa pombe yeah which is very addictive and in a way it's socially acceptable so somehow we try to shed your light like ni poa kama vile government wali ban parents kwenda na watoto kwa ba cuz like see tulikuwa tume grow up hivyo so ilikuwa common which ikikuwa affect na kuna wale watu tunajua me affect you individually si kila mtu cuz genes za watu ni different yeah so ni it's a painful thing yeah sasa vile umetoka rehab kuna kitu unafanya ama umekaa tu nyumbani Mm. ama unajaribu kuimba kidogo kidogo pengine ni wakati wako wa kuandika music oh, okay, yeah. ama kuna kazi unafanya ya kujipatia kipato um naweza sema nilichukua advice kama ya parents zangu cuz mostly walikuwa the music ndio ime influence ku like uraibu wa pombe and everything but basically nilikuwa nilikuwa na free time mingi sana so after sasa ile nime go clean and nime quit nikajaribu kuji keep busy nikarudi college nikafanya graphic design Then after I graduate nikapata job kwa company ya YouTube so bado ni muziki platform yenu inajita ngoma so somehow nikaa bado nafanya kwa kazi ya music but ina keep busy zaidi ni kama 95 so jioni niko na time ya music so hata sina hata hiyo free time ya kuingilia miadarati which I'm encourage you say like ukapatia youth kitu ya kufanya 
unawa help waji position in life na responsibility kwa hiyo kwa idol kama vile inasema wangu an idol mind is the devil's workshop hiyo kwa idol ni very harmful mm-hmm. ya yeah, anaingilia tabia riski naam yeah. turejelee nyuma kidogo unasema ulianza kuimba kama uko high school yeah. ulitambua vipi kwamba una kipaji <laughs> ama ni nani aliyekushinikiza na ukapenda kuimba na ni nani ulikuwa unamuona yeah. ukasema nikikuwa mkubwa ama nikianza kuimba nataka kuwa kwa fulani um loke nili grow kwa family tulikuwa tunasikiza muziki mingi yeah, like parents wangu walikuwa nasikiza muziki like my dad and just is a little soul music and everything my mom and just is a gospel so since I'm a specific artist but nilikuwa na music ndani yangu mm-hmm. so i remember when i was in high school mm-hmm. nilikuwa na bullying your time when i was in boarding school so the first time nilikuwa na buliwa and nilikuwa like i don't care any pesa za mkate I'm like who entertain what when something <laughs> so like yeah. me nilikuwa nawaambia mnaweza nipe like a topic then like me freestyle mnaweza kuonyesha hata mnaweza nipe topic then ni rap from the top of my mind mm-hmm. bila rehearsal mm-hmm. yeah eh hey, na mmekupea topic kura ya mtuju ambayo imekamilika unaweza sema nini imekuaje <laughs> ameniambia ni rap juu ya kura ya mtuju imekamilika beshti yangu jagu aliniokolea na ameingizwa ndani so na bambika na bambika vile wasanii wanabambika kujua government ita look up to sisi tutatajirika babe sisi ya kutajirika sio ya muhimu muhimu ni ya tuchukue talent yako na school watu kielimu mm-hmm. nafaa kuwa ni kimba juu ya kura ya mchujo but siwagi napenda politics za Kenya so na ichuja kimchujo <laughs> wow that's very <laughs> nice uko na talent sana inamaanisha kwamba nyimbo zako wewe mwenyewe unaandika ama unaandikiwa yeah muji tungia mm-hmm. yeah muji andikia mimi mwenyewe mm-hmm. and kuna artist muandikia pia mm-hmm. yeah alafu unapenda collab au unamwona unapenda kuimba peke yako kwa maana mm. kama huu wimbo wa under 18 ulimba na nani <laughs> ama walikuwa tu wanaitwa nini ya stage wale wana back up yeah back up mm-hmm. um okay like mimi upenda collab zaidi cuz inakufanya u learn style ya mtu mwingine and through ku associate na mtu mwingine uta learn vitu pia mm-hmm. so na prefer collab and like kuna uzuri wa collab ni safe zone cuz ikikosa ku fail unaweza mm-hmm. sema si mimi ni fail <laughs> maybe ni <laughs> yeah. unaogopa ku fail sana Oh um, okay when you like kisha bless you uko uh, na platform ya mm-hmm. bila unasema niko talented through song kai mm-hmm. na ni song like time, timeless cuz this song ili inaweza kumbuka ili shinda award 2006 so that means it's 11 years old and hadi sai bado wana, watu wana groove na furaha ya mashabiki wangu mm-hmm. but like okay you pay your responsibility and you can another song come and i think mm-hmm. ni a bit hard na shukuru ni vitu stoi kitu kidogo but i'm more comfortable nikifanya collab mm-hmm. yeah na pengine um nyimbo zako ambazo unazifanya mistari ambayo unaitoa unapata mwele, you get inspired na nini kwa maana kuna wimbo ambao umeimba sitoi kitu kidogo yeah huo <laughs> nao ulikuwa inspired na nini um, basically style yangu nikianza mm-hmm. nilikuwa ni my coin phrase nilikuwa naita edutainment mm-hmm. which is educative and entertaining, and entertaining. Mm-hmm. yeah so kuna kwa gana a kind of moral lesson behind maybe the two nasty words or something unajua yeah. unaongelea lugha fan base yako mm-hmm. inasikiza like my my teens uh, your time and everything yeah. so like kuangalia and teen as much as ilikuwa song ya kawaida ingekuwa like vile sasa tunaweza sema msichana yuko and teen akitoa uniform and the club na anaweza entertain you na like mzee wale sikuizo na to sponsors yeah. anaweza kujambia na waiter wewe jichunge uni and teen So somehow nilichangia like ili pe stigma no, kiasi. No. So like the next time mm-hmm. nili contract yo na government actually stoi kitu kidogo mm-hmm. walikuwa wametupe task ya kutoa songs zinaweza express kitu ita funza watu juu ya eels mm-hmm. na like vile tunaweza zi make ikuwe like so, so, socially ikuwe I pendwi. Naam. Yeah. So mimi nili inspire kwa kuandika like ile kitu nilikuwa nimepitia. Mm-hmm. Like ile maybe unatoka late kwa club, alafu unapatana na gava, mm-hmm. ujatoa au ujabeba ID yako. <laughs> yeah. So you ile design eh si toy kidogo. So uko ile design uwezi muambia like story kidogo. Mm-hmm. Bani kwa nika make your song na ibambe gava, mm-hmm. na ibambe raia, 
wanaweza joke about it yeah. which somehow i guess maybe will help because mm-hmm. actually nilikuwa naogopa makarao sana sikuizi wanaweza ni meet waniambie wewe na pengine umeongea kuhusu kama wimbo wa Andaiti ambao umekuepo kwa muda mrefu yeah. kuna baadhi ya wanamuziki ambao wanaimba nyimbo ambazo zina hit hata wanapata award yeah. lakini mwaka mmoja baadaye hakuna mtu anausikiza yeah. na watu wengi wameanza kukosoa muziki wa Kenya wakisema watu wanaimba kupata pesa na umaarufu yeah. bali si talanta maoni yako ni yapi mm, okay guess ina depend pia na motives zako ukiingia muziki mm-hmm. like naweza sema mimi nikiingia muziki hiyo time muziki ya Kenya ndio ilikuwa inaanza mm-hmm. kulikuwa na wale walikuwa wametangulia kina Harrison Gonjiri Hardstone okay na the late Foxy Pressure so unaona hiyo time kuonekana tu kwa TV ama kusikia kwa radio ilikuwa enough ya kukuonyesha umefanya ile kitu ulilana ni dream yako mm-hmm. so like hata sasa ile tulianza ku earn ilikuwa ni kama kitu extra Nem. so si tukiandika atakuwa tunaandika ati eh nataka ku perform mm-hmm. nataka kushinda award nataka siju ku get it done when ki floss kuringa that is mm-hmm. so passion yetu ilikuwa like nataka ku express ile kitu iko ndani yangu ni kama vile artist anaweza chora picha but bila kupeleka hiyo picha ika display iwe hata ridhika mm-hmm. so hiyo ilikuwa inaturidhisha ni song yetu which tulikam ku notice tunaweza spread message through song yetu ilikuwa tu ebu imagine ni song yake zao kwa radio then unasikia like after hard work yako two months later unasikia song yako kwa radio unashangaa wa ni noma. Yeah. Yeah, so ilianza hivyo. Mm-hmm. So basically saa hii watu wanaweza kwa ile design wameona music inaweza kuwa shortcut ya kupata fast money. Mm-hmm. So wanaweza andika mziki bila kufikiria like length yake mm-hmm. ya vile itaishi. Mm-hmm. Um, basically inaweza sema ni discipline pia kwa kila industry. Like as much as kuna zile vitu unaweza sema ni talent. Mm-hmm. Mimi true mistake zangu za kosa kuweka discipline zilini cost a lot which nilikuwa naambia unaweza kuwa na 99% talent but hiyo 1% ya discipline umelaa kama focus mm-hmm. itakufanya mtu ana 10% talent na 90% hizo vitu zingine akupite mm-hmm. which nimeleven learn ni kweli mm-hmm. so naweza sema kama hati yako iko clean kama unafikiri uko inspired everything like kama kitu si yako si yako mm-hmm. unaweza fika pahali na ushuke mm-hmm. Umezungumzia indiscipline. Indiscipline yeah. yako ilikuwa katika sehemu gani? Kando na kunywa pombe. <laughs> I guess yeah. nilikuwa na have fun sana because mm-hmm. I was still young. So sikuwa nime on it's a big deal mm-hmm. like kujulikana and everything. Mm-hmm. So nili kosa ku grow up uh, ile behind the scenes mm-hmm. nika grow up in public yeah. which inakuwa na pressure mingi. Yeah. So somehow ili contribute na mimi kuwa like most of the time niko na stress mingi niko na pressure cuz nikienda pale watu wananijua nini mm-hmm. yeah kabla utuambie kuhusu uh, wimbo wako mpya natumai yeah. uko nao na ni album ngapi ambazo uko nazo je yeah. hii fame una deal nayo vipi and especially siku zile saa hii wanamuziki ni wengi siku zile mm-hmm. mlikuwa kweli maselebu au kweli <laughs> pia saa hii wako una deal aje na fame ukipita pale watazama ndio huyo ndio huyo jemwat Um, nseme schedule zangu waga ni limited no. like niko na routine yangu so kabla ni get out of routine yangu niende place mpya mm-hmm. itakuwa maybe ni kama sasa nikikuja interview but sana sana best one za deal na fame ni low profile cause kuna times zile unajua umeenda ku entertain like nikienda event mm-hmm. ama nikikuja interview mm-hmm. ndamit na mashabi kama ndamit na mtu anaweza taka autograph so niko programmed kwa naturally na act kama kio cha jamii mm-hmm. but sasa niko like kwa rutini yangu normal ya weekday mm-hmm. rutini yangu ni normal wale watu na meet nao ni wale sio meet nao tumeshazoeana mm-hmm. so mostly hata ukumbukagi at uko kwa tv ama nini unaizoea aha yeah. tuambie basi ni nyimbo wimbo gani ambao umeimba sasa your newest song tukiondoka basi tutawacha watazamaji na wimbo wa ustoi kitu kidogo tukimba <laughs> saimu ndio eti naambiwa umeisha yeah. mm-hmm. Um, sasa vile muda inaisha na interview imenibamba hata ni kitu kitu kidogo watu extend. Ah <laughs> <laughs> tuwezi extend. Oh sasa <laughs> ningeogopa makarao wangetushika hapa si wewe sasa naogopa. Naam. Ile song tume do mm-hmm. tumefanya collaboration na new studio which na work nayo wanaitwa BMG Empire. Mm-hmm. So walini approach kuweza ku publicize hiyo song ni yeah. like initiative yao kwa song yenyewe inaitwa Amani Kenya. Mm-hmm. So at this time tuna elections and everything. The reason nilikwambia spend politics za Kenya ni juu 
kuna characters kwa politics wana ingizaga tribal lines just for benefit yake mwenyewe yeah. so si kama kwa hiyo song amani kenya kama verse 1 huo zamani ito na stibul mwenye mm-hmm. alispia head project alikuwa anasema like omondi anakula gedheri ya kamau <laughs> sijui nani anakula nini ya mm-hmm. like si wote tuko pamoja mm-hmm. like we are family mm-hmm. and uki jaribu kufikiria ati kwani neighbors wako wote walikuwa like kabila yako ama nini tumeishi integrated community mm-hmm. so singoje at time elections juu ya benefit ya mtu mmoja mm-hmm. it to displace na muziki wako ni aina gani muziki wangu naweza sema ni genge mm-hmm. which basically kama kiswahili chako ni, ni, ni kile cha <laughs> kiswahili sanifu no. si corrupted kama yetu sheng mm-hmm. ni kama tu jina genge yenyewe kwa kamusi no. like genge umati ya watu no. ni muziki ya kila mtu mm-hmm. that's why songs zetu huaga ni mild inaweza chezo prime time mm-hmm. kuna songs nyingine amwezi cheza saa hii mm-hmm. zetu si jaribu kuzi keep decent mm-hmm. and somehow kama your style mm-hmm. edutainment mm-hmm. you get edu- educated and entertained mm-hmm. at the same time yeah. tukimalizia wito wako kwa vijana hasa yeah. kama na wale ni muona kwenye twitter yeah. jume ni nyingi hata sitaweza kusoma zote <laughs> lakini unasema ni wito wako wa mwisho pengine yeah. usitwambie jimwati na maanisha nini huyu gidhua wa koina na uliza usipomjibu pengine natasikia kama hujamridhisha <laughs> yeah, actually jimwati sekunde 10 tu mm-hmm. ime ime kutoka my real names mm-hmm. naitwa james wathigo mboro so nikiwa primary school nilikuwa na ito gym alafu sasa na like hiyo jina wathigo so nikazi mix gym na watu mm-hmm. so basically ni nickname za jina zangu na sikizo umesema unaitwa gym wiz gym wiz gym wiz yeah haya <laughs> wito wako kwa vijana hasa um naweza waambia put god first usikize advice ya wazee wako and like respect your family because mm-hmm. mimi semaga like kuna a family si necessarily ku at your blood family ama nini mm-hmm. unaweza kuata na friends mm-hmm. vile unapenda family yako ki treat kila mtu ni kama jamii yako mm-hmm. uta treat kila mtu vizuri asante sana yeah. uko na familia yeah, I am blessed with a daughter. You have a child? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> and I think inaweza kuwa true story ukachunguza. She's 11 <laughs> years old. Huh? Your daughter? Yeah, she's standing 11 December. Haya, tumeachia hapo. Mtazamaji <laughs> asante sana kwa kuweza kujibuika nasi. Naomba nisome tu jumbe moja. G- DJ um mm, acha niendelee nitasoma huyu mwingine. Bamadi anasema anapenda nyimbo za under 18 na ilimpatia mafunzo sana akija Nairobi mara ya kwanza. Alafu anasema uko wapi unafanya nini? Atoe kitu kidogo na nyimbo za mawaidha anasema nyimbo zako ni za mawaidha sana. Alafu Martin Cyrus anasema ni kusalimu sana ulipotelea wapi natumai amekuona. Alafu um, ya mwisho hapa ati nikwambie kasunye kaluvengo amesema nikwambie kwamba kofia yako ambayo umevaa ni ya kianda 18. <laughs> Nafasi mtazamaji shukran sana kwa kuweza kujumuika nasi. Unaona wengi mmefurahia sana kuwepo kwa Jimwat hapa. Na shukran sana kwa kuweza kutazama taarifa za KTN leo weekend ikiwa ni Jumamosi na tumekuletea makala yako wapi wapo kuna yeyote ambaye ungependa kumuona hapa kwenye studio basi usiana nasi kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at KTN News at KTN Kenya na vile vile at Mary Kilobi au tuma ujumbe mfupi kupitia nambari 22155 ni jukumu letu kuweza kuwaleta hapa. Mimi ni Mary Kilobi, mtangazaji ishara ni William Sila. Kwa heri kwa sasa tuonane tena kesho mo